Okay, so I know everybody's indoors doing a lot of things, uh, keeping busy or trying to keep busy, trying to keep engaged. And, and when you get time for yourself, if you're not dealing with family and friends and kids and things like that, maybe a little reading. Well, to help us out in that regard, we're starting a brand new segment. Uh, and this was, this was probably, we were probably gonna do this anyhow, but uh, uh, the, the circumstances we find ourselves in uh, uh, allowed us to reach out to Alice Kuypers to start something called Allie's Book Club. So, uh, hey, Allie, nice to have you here. Nice to see you, Cher. So first of all, um, in broad strokes, how are we gonna deal with uh, this particular style of book club? Well, we thought that it would be nice to share a Canadian book and talk about it a little bit together here on the show. We'll also highlight a local author's book too. And then I think for any viewer who is interested, you could either perhaps read the book with a friend or you could perhaps connect it with your book group. And then we'll be posting some questions to think about for the book and talking a little bit here about it. And also a fun fact about the author, a writing prompt if you want. So it's a book group you can join all by yourself and just enjoy thinking about those questions. You could do it with one friend. You could do it with two or three through Zoom um, or maybe on a social distance walk as and when that allowed and we just thought it would be a fun way for us all to connect and think about reading i know it's hard to fit in reading i 100 percent understand that but if you want to join us we're here absolutely and the uh the the first book we're going to talk about today it sounds like a cookbook but it's not tell us about our book so this book is called Recipe for a Perfect Wife, and it's by Karma Brown. She's a Canadian author who loves raisins in her butter tarts, apparently. And she decided, I believe, to write this book because this idea of how women balance all of those competing issues that we have to deal with, trying to manage a domestic life, how we navigate, whether we're having children or not, what that domestic life looks like. She wanted to write about all of those things and she wanted to do it in a way that makes recipes and some information about gardening, which some of us are maybe doing more of at the moment through the pandemic, also with a thriller element and some great writing and like it's fun and page turner and just the sort of thing to completely distract you from everything else that's going on. So wait a second, you said there's, there's, there's recipes and it's also a, a thriller? It's like, yeah. is, is, did, does, some, does somebody choke on a raisin from in a butter tart or what? No choking, although I don't want to reveal too much. <laughs> so there are two characters. One is Alice, like me, and she is current and she's running away from something and she moves into this house and discovers a cookbook in the basement. And in the cookbook are all sorts of secrets and recipes from this previous story that starts to unravel a very dark and damaged marriage and mystery and so it mixes the day-to-day -day and how people deal with problems whether they escape or run away or face them with this thrilling backstory and then these all recipes like baked alaska and all sorts of things that you might not cook nowadays oh you know what i only had baked alaska once i remember my you know what it's an right baked alaska is an amazing dessert really it, it defies logic uh but i digress um so and, and i know that's one of the things we want to talk about with our uh, our viewers and the people who are, are going to read the book and then sort of check in with us maybe talking about family recipes things that uh, sort of uh, are evoke certain memories in certain time and place for them and as you'll see, we also have not only some questions about thinking about which recipes bring up stories for you and what those stories are and how they connect to your own heritage, but also um, we have a writing prompt from Paul Cochier, which is all about using a teaspoon and how that might inspire some writing either for you or for your book group members or uh, for your kids too, because some of us who, who enjoy reading also like writing. And those of us who don't can just focus on the recipes and thinking about how those stories resonate for ourselves and how they resonate for each of the characters, what those recipes mean for Alice and also for Nelly 60 years in the past. Now, I'm just kind of curious because I know you're a fabulous cook. I remember you made like heart-shaped Valentine pancakes for your kids, uh, but have you been in, have you tried any of the recipes in this book or have you been thinking about it? Yeah, I think that she does a very nice meatloaf, which is a simple recipe, which is one that I'd forgotten I used to eat as a kid at home. And so we've had meatloaf recently here. Um, I always like to try new recipes. And I find that 
strangely, there is more time for cooking, although I feel like I've never been as busy as through this pandemic. But we have been doing a bit more cooking at home, the children and I. Baked Alaska, I'm a bit nervous that the ice cream will melt all over the oven, but we could try it. Give it yeah. a try, give it a try. I tell you what, I'll try it if you try it. How about that? <laughs> we could take photos and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hey, just before we go here, let's talk about our Saskatchewan, our local author that we'd like to highlight this time. Well, Lisa Bird Wilson is an extraordinary writer. Her her short story collection, Just Pretending, is one that I have loved for many years, and I can't recommend it highly enough. It was a one book, one province book. It's about identity and who we are and how we find a sense of belonging through Saskatchewan's very troubled history with its Indigenous peoples and what that history looks like and how to be hopeful with it. She's a really good writer. She has a novel coming out next year, um, which I was hoping to highlight this year, but it looks like that novel is going on to be uh, to be published in 2021. So we'll be looking at her more in the future, but I cannot recommend Lisa Bird Wilson for an extra read as well. So yeah, Recipe for a Perfect Wife and then Lisa Bird Wilson's Just Pretending in the two books for this month. All right, that is fabulous. What a wonderful way to kick off Ali's Book Club. Thanks so much for agreeing to do this with us, and I'm sure uh, uh, the reviewers are going to enjoy uh, checking out both books, and uh, we look forward to our next installment. Thank you. I love connecting with readers. Thank you very much.